Never wait for hot water again with a tankless water heater from Plumbing Experts. Tankless water heaters are easy, convenient, and now more affordable with a no interest financing for up to 18 months. Stop with the cold showers and wasted water and call Plumbing Experts today. It's the Weather Extreme video. This is the afternoon edition. This is for Monday, September 23rd. I'm James Spann. Temperatures this week stay above average. Rain chances below average must be September or October. This is the driest time of the year in the state. First day of fall. Let's dive in and see what's going on here. There's the upper look ridging down here across the deep south. The main wave action up north. Got a surface front approaching from the northwest. You can see a band of clouds in advance of that front kind of dipping into north Alabama. And if you look really carefully on radar, it's raining in a few spots over Franklin County, Colbert County, and Lauderdale County up in the northwestern part of the state back into northeast Mississippi. And obviously this type of rain is not going to help break the dry conditions, but at least something's out there. And we'll have some chance of these isolated showers each day for really the rest of the week. Mostly upper 80s and low 90s on the board, although Haleyville is a bit cooler at 85. Hot spot Montgomery at 93. There's the watch warning map. Most of the really active weather back in the southwest where there is a severe thunderstorm watch in effect. Where they've got some active weather. In fact, an enhanced risk of severe storms. You don't see that that often for parts of the deserts of Arizona. You can see a chance of thunder along that surface front, including the Tennessee Valley of North Alabama this evening, but severe weather not expected. This is tomorrow. Risk of severe storms over the upper Midwest. And on day three, which is Wednesday, a marginal risk north and west of the state. Most of Alabama dry, although there could be a few isolated showers and storms around. Most significant rain for the next seven days from Oklahoma up into the western Great Lakes. Around here, not much. And again, every day some risk of these isolated showers, but nothing really widespread anytime soon. So let's look at the tropics. Three tropical storms on the board and a couple of waves. Tropical storms Jerry, Karen, Lorenzo. Let's start with Jerry. This is in the Atlantic, well east of the Bahamas. This thing is kind of struggling. It doesn't look really uh, organized. This has top winds of 65 miles an hour. Would be passing just north of Bermuda Wednesday morning and then moving out into the open Atlantic, becoming post-tropical most likely this weekend. Lorenzo in the far eastern Atlantic should become a hurricane by tomorrow night or Wednesday morning. Gaining latitude and again all the members of the European Ensemble recurve this well before threatening the Bahamas or the United States. So not too many worries there. This is the most interesting and intriguing system on the board. Karen, uh, very disorganized, barely a tropical storm. Winds are 40 miles an hour. This is uh, moving slowly northward. This will bring some wind and rain to Puerto Rico tomorrow. Not really a, a dangerous system at this point. And then you can see uh, the steering currents kind of collapse. A ridge builds north of the system that could bend it back to the west late this week. But where it goes from there, it's very uncertain. Look at the ensemble members of the European all over the board. Some of the members bring it toward Florida in the Gulf. Some of the members curve it out to sea. Some of the members leave it nearly stationary. So we just don't know at this point. It's a long way away from affecting any uh, part of the contiguous United States, if it does at all. Just something to watch at this point. Let's check the GFS. This is the 12Z run valid tomorrow at 4. And again, the mid-latitude westerlies are a bit north of here. We've still got ridging, and there's a weak surface front around, and that could kick off a few widely scattered showers, maybe some thunder, but <clears throat> again, most of you will not see rain. I'd say highs 88 to 91 tomorrow. Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, really on all of these days, no big change. Uh, there could be a few widely scattered showers or storms each day with that stalled surface boundary that should be gradually drifting northward as a warm front later this week. Otherwise, partly sunny days, fair nights, highs, probably low 90s. The weekend looking dry, a little hot for late September. This is Saturday and this is Sunday. Good chance we'll see low 90s both days. And look at Monday of next week, a big old upper high sitting on top of us. Come on, man. That's going to be hot. But look at the trough in the western states. So we could see record heat 
In the southeast, record lows back in the western states with that high amplitude. And again, there's the surface look, and of course, that's hot and dry. We could see mid-90s. Let's go out 10 days. Thursday of next week, October 3rd, deep trough north of us, flat ridge here. And again, a surface boundary north of us, but most likely that's going to be kind of hot and kind of dry. Check the rain off the European Ensemble. Uh, the mean under one half inch for the next 15 days. Don't get your hopes up for a big rain event. Keep in mind, October is the driest month of the year based on averages here. And look at the heat levels. Now, this is off the uh, European Ensemble, and I think it's got a pretty good grasp on the numbers. Uh, you don't need to tack anything on here, but it's hot enough. Mid-90s this weekend and into next week, and then tailing back off in the low 80s out there around October 6th or October 7th. That's it for the Weather Extreme video this afternoon. We'll have notes in the blog. The next video here by 7 o'clock tomorrow morning. If you can't catch us this evening on ABC 3340 News at 4, 5, 6, and 10 o'clock. Thanks for watching. Have a great evening and God bless. AS Heating and Air, the team ensuring your comfort.